Hello. 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 Hello, dudes and dudesses, and welcome. Today, I'm going to show you this pretty neat bamboo farm behind me. Harvest, Harvest time. time. Welcome back and here we have the farm in its entirety and it's using several quite unique and fun ways of doing things and I'm going to break them down one by one. Lately I've been making a couple of videos about kelp farming using scaffolding that is placing uh, the plant on scaffolding because when waterlogged the kelp can go through it. A guy uh, called Frunocraft picked up on this, I think he's a member of my Discord community, and he made his own video about a kelp farm with a kelp pusher instead of a flying machine. Really neat concept. It's basically a concept that uh, Il Mango, of course everything goes back to Il Mango at some point, did in another farm like almost eight years ago. But, but Frunocraft saw that I use scaffolding to make layered kelp farms uh, with flying machines and he made it with his kelp pusher that he got from Il Mango. And I thought that was quite neat and I looked into it and I, I have actually built my own kelp farm using that technique and I will make a video on that. It's in another world than this one. But, but, but getting there took a while you know, to figure out all the mechanisms and the redstone. I wanted to do it differently. And it was instantly clear to me that this mechanism is obvious to use in a bamboo farm. So we get this video and this farm first. What is a kill pusher? Basically, a kill pusher is two sticky pistons pointing into a row of slime blocks. And as you probably know, a piston can have a push limit of 10. So you can have 10 slime blocks down there and then we have a redstone block right there. And when we go down here, you can see we have another set of sticky pistons and another set of slime blocks and so on. And the idea is, I have put in bamboo here. The idea is if, if I power this piston right here, you can see it pushes on that side. And if I power that one, it pushes on that side. And now with the bamboo gone, you can see that the, uh, the next line, the next line of slime blocks just go opposite like that and of course it's it's expensive in slime blocks so this is not a day one farm probably and it uses much more slime than you would uh, if you, you were building a flying machine but it's also much less prone to breaking i haven't had time to seriously test this but i have tested it with locking out reloading chunks and stuff like that and it doesn't break now in Il Manco's version, he uses a 16 tick clock and then you can prolong this indefinitely. But it's a bit of a hassle to bring it up if you want to do layers and stuff like that. And I wanted to do it more like 2024 redstone. So what I've done is that we are of course not going to be standing here putting redstone on it like that. Let me just place some blocks down right here. What we have here is a row of hoppers that goes around like this. And I have an item locked in there. As you probably know, a comparator will see this item when it passes through the hopper. And it makes a signal. And then I have this uh, observer that is uh, that I put into, let me just put a row like that, into a solid block that is a non stickable solid block the one ones that uh, slime can uh, not, not stick to and when i do this let's see what happened you can see every time it goes around it goes like that this is the basic mechanism quite easy right in this farm i have made the slime pusher three long so that's basically 30 bamboo you can have on each side of this pusher right here so you can see it's placed like this. As I said earlier, with this setup, with the observers, you cannot build it longer than three long. Then it will mess up uh, out there. If you want to have it longer that way, you will need to have a 16 tick clock. But I can't imagine that I would want in my world to have a size that's longer. And even if you want more, you can just make it wider as long as you want 
you can make it as wide as you want as long as it is not more than three long. But the bamboo needs to be collected and that's quite a neat part of this I think because this is the hopper line. A, an item is passing through and it gets picked up by this comparator and this make this go as I showed you before. But the space before is not used because it's only every other block. So this space and this space we don't use for anything. But what if we put a comparator there as well and then a block above it, then it will fire this redstone down here. And then we just take a signal from that into a block like that. And then you fire the minecarts that go underneath to pick up the bamboo. Let me just show you by putting in a block here. And you can see it goes like that and it returns. So this is just a miniature of what we have under the farm. As you can see here, you have an unpowered powered rail right there. And then of course you have a normal rail and it, you have powered rails that go all the way. So the minecart goes like this and it goes all the way back. And then it just places itself there until the next time that an item will be passing through the hoppers. Now this is a bit fast. So what I've done under the farm is that from this first uh, rail right here, I have waterlocked it until the last one right there. Of course in the farm there are many more rails underneath, but basically I don't waterlock the first one and I don't waterlock this so there's energy enough to get around. And then the water will slow down the minecart so it takes a bit longer and it will pick up everything from the farm. And that is the circuit you see right here. You see we have the hopper line, we have the comparators, we have the observers into a solid block, non-stickable, and then you have the piston right here. Underneath or every other block we have a comparator and down to the redstone over here and then it pushes the minecart along and the minecart is standing on a row of hoppers. So when it comes back, it unloads. It's actually still unloading from the last harvest like that. And then I've just built my standard compressor. I've made a separate video uh, about this. And what it does is basically every time there's nine of something, it makes a block and it goes in here. Now to control the harvest, I just use uh, a daylight sensor like this. And you can see the daylight sensor is read by a comparator and again into an observer into a repeater on a four tick delay which goes into a block with a torch and then there's a block right there and that block there locks this hopper and i don't know <laughs> i have no idea why it's pointed dripstone but that's the item that goes around in the hopper chain like that and the pots right here i'm still debating i'm not sure but uh, I, you can use composters as well. I don't know if they make more lag than composters do because they're a, an entity in itself, but I've seen others do it. So maybe it's better than composters. Otherwise, just use composters. And if you're in a single player world, you don't really perhaps need to do anything, but it's to reduce lag in case you're wondering. Now, what is the yield from this farm that has just 180 plants? Before I put up uh, the crafter, it was about one full double chest and a half, but we can test it. Let's just take out this right here. And with the new tick command, we can run it for an hour, three, three days, 20 minutes, three times 20 minutes is an hour in real time. So let's just try and do that. All right. It has run for three days, which is the equivalent of one hour. And we have one, two, three, four, almost five stacks. Five times nine is 45 stacks times 64 is 2,880 bamboo an hour. So this size of farm will give you just shy of a full double chest of bamboo in an hour. A couple of final thoughts. As I've said a couple of times, this needs to be a solid block because it has to fire it has to transmit a redstone signal but the other ones right here and underneath and this one on top right here it just needs to be a non-sticky block which means it could be for instance a leaf block oh yeah by the way i have some stuff here in this world i'm uh, making a farm up there testing it off and i'm testing a bee farm that you don't need to use as many bottles in 
live with it. It is in this farm. I don't care to take it out right now. So it's in the world download. All right, guys, if you made it this far, thank you for watching the video. And if you like it, do leave a like. And if you're brand new, subscribe. It helps the channel a bunch. And as always, the world download will be in the Discord community. And look out for the uh, YouTube channel because uh, Kilp Farm with this design in layers are coming very soon. See you. Bye. <laughs>